Hello folks and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be building a static detector that I bought off eBay and it turns out it's by the same person who made the um, Cape Cod radio kit that I built in a previous video so I'll, I'll link his eBay shop in the description comes with a nice circuit board Things all marked out, a bag of components, so we've got a few uh, standoff things, resistors, transistors, a couple of LEDs in there, a little various potentiometer, and it comes with one of these, CV2779, sorry, 2799 valve, I mean look at that, it's a thing of beauty that. Mm. doesn't contain any red mercury at all nor should any valve contain red mercury and if you see people peddling red mercury valves well it's fake red mercury does not exist and if you want to buy a valve with red mercury believing it's got some magical powers and properties well the term of fool on his money obviously departed comes to mind and that's enough for that round well, let's put that over there got a nice set of instructions as well so all the stuff you need is in the in the bag thing and for those playing a longer term there is a little circuit diagram and we've got some instructions there anyway so that's bring in the, uh, the helping hand thing and we'll start to put it together So the soldering iron is on, I've got the electric glue and uh, let's start building it. So solder resistor 1, 2, 120 ohm resistors, blah 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 blah. Right, what I'm going to do is, because I don't want to bore you all to death with me waffling on about resistors and such like, this is going to be one of them time lots videos so I'm going to speed the footage up and uh, see how far we get Okay, well that's the circuit built. Didn't take me too long. It, uh, it's quite easy build, but once you just plug and place really. Uh, I've not got any AAA batteries, but I've got a battery pack over that way. It's providing nine volts, so uh, it's got to test it. So the instructions say, connect the battery up. Battery is added to positive. Da 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 da. The link tab removed. So I've taken that off. Take a small piece of sticky tape from a roll to create static wave near the tube. The LEDs should light up. After building, some static may be present. Just touch the aerial pin to discharge any build or static on the board. So that's the aerial pin. Just there. Let's switch it on. And uh, well, I haven't got any sticky tape, so. Let's get a cloth. Hey, hey look at that. Mm -hmm. Magic. Let's get a view from the side, just see the LEDs there. No, let's pop it a bit more. All we need now, Ooh, look at that. All we need now is um, I'm going to be playing with this all day now. All we need now is a good thunderstorm just to see if it works without uh, normal static. 
normal static is that a thing you can add a panel meter to it just connect it to the top pins there uh, the instructions say so it can be connected to the top terminals uh, 200 micron or less meter this will increase the sensitivity of the unit potentiometers allows you to zero the meter so that little potentiometer there it's a thing of beauty this is I do quite anyway before I start getting distracted and faffing around that's it for this video I'll link the the shop below in the description he's got a few other kits as well there so they're worth a look and until next time thank you very much for watching and i'll uh, catch you in the next one bye for now and uh, take it easy see you again